there's a song I used to listen to when I was sick. Um, I'm trying to think of the 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 singer now, but it says that even if you don't, um, I'll always sort of have faith in you. The song would say something about even when God doesn't give you what you want now, my faith is still in you. Like even if I don't get it today, my faith is still in you. Um, how I would consistently seek God because it's not about what I want. It's about my relationship with Him. You know, so whether I want this or whether I want to get better, I have to have a relationship with God either way. And I thought to myself, when people told me you're gonna, we thought we were gonna die, I thought to myself, even if I died, I wouldn't stop believing in God because it's not it wasn't my doing. My name's Yvonne. I'm from Pretoria, so at Ridgeville, and yeah, I've lived there all my life. And my fondest memory as a child is when we used to go to the field close by to pick up locusts and cook them. So what would happen is um, we'd all save up up from last night, so we'd have half of it, the other half must come to the field. When we're cooking our locusts, we'd have with that bub, and some of our friends would bring some acha. I grew up in my grandmother's house initially, and my grandmother's um, a born-again Christian, and so she would punt that, like, there's nothing else to talk about in the house. Um, she took us to church, and then our family joined another church, but we went to the church all our lives until I moved out of home. Five years ago, my baby's father passed away. Um, and it was obviously very difficult for me because I realized I was going to be a single parent. I think my bigger fear was how was I going to explain to my son where his father was. I think it was, if it was a girl, maybe I'd feel different. I went into a depression. I don't think anybody knew. I lived my life on my own quite a lot. So I lived on my own at the time. No one knew what was going on with my life. I stopped eating. I'd invite friends, cook for them, but I wouldn't eat. I didn't eat. I didn't even realize I wasn't eating. About a year and a half later, I started losing weight, like badly. Um, went to see all sorts of doctors, um, physicians. I went to dietitians. I went to psychologists. The day I came back from hospital, I had to go meet with my boss. So the following day, I went to meet with my boss at work and explained my situation to him. And he said to me, look, we'll give you seven months to come back, okay? So it's September now, the first of March, you must be back at work and you must be healthy. Go do whatever you need to do. I could work half days, I could work some days and not others, I just had to let him know. And then I came back from, from my, my meeting and on the same day, when I was chatting to my mother about what happened at work, she, she was relieved, I guess, but on that day she had a stroke. And luckily I was home and my family's all very close, so I could call my aunts and everybody could come quickly, sort the situation to get to hospital um, just in time. She's healed now, but yeah, that was a very difficult period because now I had to take care of my mom's situation and my health and make sure that I recover and that she recovers. A stroke is a very difficult, it's also very emotional, you know, so you have to be careful how you do things. If she doesn't want to eat, you can't force, things like that. So I had myself to take care of, I had my son to take care of, my younger brother and my mother, and that was hard. I look at myself, I don't have clothes to wear, um, I've put on so much weight. Um, the doctor says, don't lose weight. They're like, I, can I just, he's like, no, stick to that, stick to what you're doing, look after yourself. But I believe that had it not been for God and, and faith in that time, I would have, might not have made it. Um, 
The doctor said to me six months when I went to see her that you were one of the first patients that we treated that we didn't think was going to make it. Had you not come at the time that you did, you would have probably died. So, yeah, the long and short is God knows, you know, God knows our lives, God knows our needs, um, God knows our, our situations. I don't see how the family would have worked out had I died and then my mother had a stroke, you know. So God had a plan to heal me and he did. I look at other people who've been in the same situation and they didn't make it. I've loved it. So I'm, I'm, I'm a loner. I don't have a lot of friends. I don't hang around with a lot of people purely because I think I have a quirky type personality and sort of different interests. And so um, I generally spend time alone when I go into church. That wasn't sort of an option. So suddenly I have people talking to me. I'm not a stranger. Um, people that identified with what I liked, like I like fine food and going out to nice, um, dainty little places that nobody else goes to. And I'd find, oh, Stephanie says, I have found this place in Waterloo. Like, Let's go, you know, that kind of thing. Um, opened me up a bit. I wasn't lonely anymore. I had friends. So, yeah, that has changed in my life quite a lot. Now I have people to talk to when I'm going through difficulties. Now with COVID and work, I have people I can call and say, hey, I'm not coping. This and this and that is happening. I spoke to Willow last night, I think it was half past 10. And um, we could share what's going on. Let me pray for each other. And that, that has absolutely made my life better. I see now the value of community.